Hello guys and dolls and everyone in between, this is Jade Hitachin and we are playing Cuphead. Thank you so much for joining me and I've been looking forward to playing this game a lot. I've seen some gameplay I and like I've watched a couple of other YouTubers play it. It looks like a lot of fun. Uh, it definitely looks skill based which is not necessarily my forte but they tend to be a lot of fun. Uh, also, I really love the music on this game, That's that was one of the biggest incentives for me to play it, to be quite honest, is the music. Because, from what I understand, it was all, it was all, like, uniquely written for the game and everything, and so it's just great. Alright. Alright, and go ahead and start up the new game. Cuphead, don't deal with the devil. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two boy two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without care under the watchful eye of the wise elder kettle. One day the two boys wandered far from home and, despite the elder kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the, at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the ma casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. <laughs> nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the Devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. If you lose, I'll have your souls, Theo. Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mark Benham, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled with fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There, there must be a move away to repay you, my man stammered. Yes, please, mister, Cuphead asked. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I'm not just parting you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You'll have until midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as soon as, as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, handed Cuphead. We have to find Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. And in we go. This game is fun. I like this game. It's fun so far. Yes! He sounds so funny. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you could refuse, I can't bear to imagine your face. You must pay along for now, collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Okay, so over here. Thankfully, most of this is pretty easy. And duck to crouch. And space to jump. Those of you that have actually played the game will notice that I've made some changes. Uh, I have... No. Like, I did a little bit of playtesting before this. Recorded for a little bit, but I didn't have any game audio. So I'm having to go through and re-record. And so I had set up all of my keys and everything to something that I could play more easily with because I just kept dying and dying and dying and dying and dying and dying. So, uh, we have 
we've got uh, some of the stuff is the same because it wasn't affecting how I did everything. And then you've got some stuff that, like my jump, I was missing jumps just all the time with my, uh, whenever jump was Z. I was like, okay. I'm used to the majority of my stuff being set up on a WSAD, and so I wound up having to go through and do that. Wackadoodles. Get the wackadoodle. Stay here. <laughs> there we go. And the coins. I I kind of like how it starts you off with coins. It's like yes. You start off with like one coin, and then there's uh, there's there's other coins that you gather over the course of things. So talk to Elder Kettle one last time. Oh. <laughs> You'll have to lay out lay out all those debtors to move on. Wee. Now shake a leg. Yeah. Go away. Now, this is another one where I just absolutely adore the art style. It kind of, it reminds me very much of a lot of the cartoons that I used to watch whenever I was a kid. I had multiple family members that, uh, that, like, gave us tapes and DVDs and stuff of the old style cartoons like Betty Boo and Popeye and just a whole bunch. Personally, I was a huge Betty Boo fan whenever I was a kid. Could not get enough of her. And it's like, yes, I love this. And so I I kind of fell in love with that art style. And this is very reminiscent of that. Including, like, the old real uh, footage. Like, the marks and stuff from the footage. Like, you're watching a, a movie. Like, an old-timey movie. So it's like, yes. Talk to this guy. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. You will see three gold coins. Yes. I rather like getting getting that. So we're gonna go and see Pork Rain. Like, he has the weirdest voice. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, so this is one I've used, I've seen used to very effective, like, very good effect. Uh, the extra hit point, it's like, it's nice to have an extra hit point, but now, this one, from what I understand, is pretty good, like, later on, but right now, not so much. Invisible Dash is, is pretty great in usage, but no, I don't think that right, right this second and roundabout. That one is interesting. But I'm gonna go with the chaser, and then later on, I've got others that I will go to. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> you got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, ya bums. And it's like, okay, so I actually want to set chaser as my primary. And then we'll do my uh, pea shooter as that. We don't have any super reserve charms yet, so we're good to go there. Do this. Oh, all right. And we will start off with forest bullies running up. You're up. Okay, but skill-based games are pretty, are pretty good. It just takes me forever to get a hang of them. Oh, 
a lot of what you're seeing on this right now is the fact that I had I had just a ridiculous amount of time on this uh, yes, yesterday whenever I was recording. It's like, so I've got different stuff. Mini goodies. I like how the mini goobies kind of sound like a goose whenever, whenever you get them. These guys, acorn. This guy. Most of the way through this, uh oh, it's like this game's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, but I have trouble with it, so we're actually gonna wind up probably doing like a kill count or something because I'm just bad at this game in general. Like I love, I love playing these games. But you don't have to be good at something to love it. I forgot about the weird voices that they give them sometimes. He's like, no Cagney, I don't want to talk to you. Thank you. Incidentally, has anybody noticed that uh, you've got the miniature goofy and then you've got the Cagneys that drop out of the sky? Personally, I thought it was kind of funny. a lot that you can pick up. Just doing prep work to do a game, actually. Ah! Okay, as long as I don't lose any more hit points, I should be fine. Because I just had to get to that final portion. Oh. Let's do it. I kind of needed to do that because I didn't have enough life to get through the end. If, if I'm able to successfully get get to the end with uh, with two, usually I'll do I do okay. If I can just get to the get to the acorn maker with two hit points, I'm generally good. <coughs> It's just about knowing where to take time, where to run, and where to stop. Generally with missions, you have to stop. Unless you just want to get, go for a bed. Oh! Yay! 
We got through Forest Foley's. I know I didn't get all the coins, but I haven't quite figured out how to get all of the coins and not die on the pink spike ball wackadoodles. So we're not doing that right now. <laughs> okay, so come down here and we're gonna do the pink pack. Botanic panic! Okay. This is why that it could be a pain. Okay. That's why I'm where it's like, okay. He kind of changes up a little bit. Yay! We're just gonna keep this going. You're one that's kind of annoying. I actually die more often with with this guy and with Mo than with uh, the carrot. Oh! See what I'm talking about? A great slam and then some. Now go! Boom! I haven't figured out how to get through most portion without losing a hit point. But if I'm lucky, I can do the onion without, without losing any points. Oh, shit. Almost had him. I didn't realize I could get on that side of it. Early brewing. And begin! Yep, I deserve to die on that one. A great slam and then some. You're up! Four, two, three, four! Yeah! Slap! whack a doodle One, two, three. Two whack a doodles Ha! Achievement unlocked. Parry persistence. I'm parry persistent, apparently. Oh, shit. I'm lean, mean, and full of beta carotene. <laughs> oh, that's. That, that, that again, that is to be expected. Now go! Oh, 
just... This guy, it's easier to hit the parries. If I'm lucky. Yay! to just look up at the top to see where he's gonna there's stuff oh! I should have used this that super stuff hey little guy it's okay if you have to cry honestly he's super duper annoying I don't like his little crying thing come on oh no it's not really that big a deal it's more Good of, day for us. Well, he's, uh, he's been. Here goes. Oh, potato. Oh, man. Just there. I guess it. I got hit this time, so it's slower. Yay! Gosh, dude, you're so annoying. A great slam and then some. It's on. Like, well, once you figure out his pattern, he's not that bad. Because it's always the same thing, just different speeds. And losing two hit points on Mo. I kind of deserve to die. Because. This match will get right is, is, is it's Oh my gosh, I am just... There we go. Yes, I know, I know. I suck. I never claim to be good at this game. This game is predominantly learning patterns. Ho! Ah! Oh well. I didn't need the wackadoodle anyways. You can actually do this entire thing and beat it without hitting a single wackadoodle. Had it. I was so close. All over for you. Probably should have been. Here they real high five about. Here goes. One, two, three, four. 
Yes! It's just, you get into the zone, it's like, yes, we're zoning. Okay, four. Yeah, yeah. Here it. Let's see if we can do this guy. 
my gosh. Don't ever corner yourself. That's that's a big part of my problem is I will corner myself for this guy. And that's exactly what he likes. It's a corner you. So you don't have any chances. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I got a wackadoodle. Again. Is anybody else bothered by how much how these guys are like zombies? Well, honestly, Mug uh Cuphead and Mugman are the zombies because they keep dying and coming back. Oh, come on, man. Du, du, bu, bu. Come on. Let's make this a last go. One, two. Yeah, like a doodle. One, two, three. Ah, oh, that's kind of great. to let people drown. monkey's uncle will find putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls that place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. Humph! <laughs> He's fun to do voices for, actually. And I know once I get the frogs, I can move over. I don't want to do the frogs just yet. Uh, we're going to pay one more visit to Pork Rind, and then we're going to call it. We're going to. We're probably going to call it a day. All right. Now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, I definitely wanted uh, that dash because I'm going to need it. Okay, and we got that put in. Ah! Oh, there. Escape. Alright. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. 
Uh, I look forward to seeing you again. We are going to start off with Goopy Lagrange. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. Uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and give me a like down, and down there. And hit me up on social media. And that will be down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!